Coming up, a serious war machine that helped move Hitler's panzer divisions across Europe during the Nazi invasion, and a British carrier that's earned the right to be called a warrior, as the countdown to the number one fighting vehicle continues. Halfway through our countdown of the top 10 infantry fighting vehicles, this next personnel carrier paved the way for all others, transporting German troops during the Nazi invasion across Europe. The German Sonderkraft Fahrzeug 251, manufacturer Hanomag, power plant Maybach 100 brake horsepower petrol engine, max speed. 53 kilometers per hour. Carrying capacity, two crew and 10 troops. Range, 180 kilometers. Armor, 1.5 centimeters. Armament, two 7.92 millimeter machine guns. During the 1930s, when many countries were frantically rearming, the German army began developing its new theory of lightning strike tactics known as Blitzkrieg. Heinz Guderian, the German commander who becomes essentially the inventor of the Panzer Division, says that within a division, within a Panzer Division, you must have tanks, but you must also have infantry who can keep up with the tanks, the Panzer Grenadiers. From this strategy came one of the most important fighting vehicles of its time, the Hanomag 251 half-track. It was the forerunner of everything that else that came behind it in the way of infantry carrying vehicles, and also because of the quality of the design. I mean, it may have been over-designed uh, in terms of what uh, was needed for a, for a world war, but the design itself was uh, innovative and, you know, sexy and superb. Initially armed with two 7.92 millimeter machine guns and protected by 1.5 centimeters of armor, the 251 swept across Europe and Russia, supporting the Nazi Panzer Brigades. If you've got an all-arms division based around the tank, it does you no good if the tanks go racing across the country with their big tracks able to cross sand or swamp, and they leave their supporting infantry behind. The German army used the Hanomag 251 in every major battle it fought during World War II. With a unique, sophisticated track system, its cross-country ability was outstanding. But the 251 was a victim of its own success. Their half-tracks were extremely expensive to manufacture. They all lacked a powered front axle. And their, their track system used an interleaved road wheel uh, arrangement, which is quite prone to cl clogging with mud or stones, and the tracks were a lubricated track, which required a lot of maintenance. So for constant cross-country use, the vehicle was very difficult to maintain. Maintenance difficulties aside, over 20 different variants of the Hanomag 251 were produced, from anti-tank, anti-aircraft vehicle, to a field ambulance and a mobile gun platform. There was even a rocket launcher variant known as the Infantry Stuka, or Howling Cow. It seemed that there was nothing that the Hanomag 251 couldn't do. In terms of innovation, the Hanomag I think is excellent because it does demonstrate that you can create vehicles that can keep up with, with, with the logistics uh, support you need for main battle tanks. And from that sprang other designs in other countries, so it's a benchmark vehicle. By the end of the war, over 16,000 Hanomag 251s had been built. A variant was used by the Czech army until the late 1970s. Because of this, its production rating is high, as is its innovation factor. Its service length score is also good, with marks for mobility and carrying capability just as strong. So, the Hanomag 251 half-track easily earns its number five spot on our list of the top 10 infantry fighting vehicles.